Hey, it's Skip, and today I'm going to show you how to play a little card game from Norway called Americaner. This is a trick-taking card game for four players played in partnerships, but the partnerships will change each round, and they are based on a card that is called by the bid winner. So let's dive in and check it out. To play Americaner, all you need is a standard 52-card deck and a way to keep score. In this game, each suit ranks with two as the lowest card and ace as the highest card. Set up the game by shuffling up and dealing 12 cards out to each player. The remaining four cards form a kitty that is placed in the center of the table. The bid winner is going to get that kitty and be able to exchange cards with it. The round begins with a bid. Players are bidding on how many tricks they think they can take if they get to name the trump suit. If they bid a number, the minimum bid is six tricks, the maximum bid is 12. The bid winner will be able to call for a card and whoever has that card is their partner. However, there is one bid higher and it is called the Americaner bid. If a player bids Americaner, that means that they think they can take all 12 tricks without the help of a partner. The bidding in this game is an auction format, meaning that first, once you pass, you're out of the bid. You can no longer participate. Once a bid has been placed, the next player who wishes to bid must bid higher. So if the first bid is six, the next bid would have to be seven or higher. And it continues to go around with people bidding multiple times, potentially, until all but one player has passed. For the sake of this example, let's just say our player at the bottom of the screen wins the bid with six. The bid winner then gets the kitty. They add those cards to their hand, and then they choose four cards from their hand to replace. So the bid winner has exchanged the cards that they wanted and added them to their hand. The kitty is then placed off to the side. It is not used for the rest of the round. The bid winner also leads the first trick. They must lead the trick with a card in the suit that they want to be Trump. So this is like pitching Trump in the game of pitch. Okay, with the Americaner bid, there will be no Trump. If the bid is anywhere between six and 12, the Trump suit will be pitched, but if that very special Americaner bid is made, the round is played with no Trump suit. So the bid winner leads the trick with the two of diamonds. This names diamonds Trump for the round. Next, they will call for a card. Here they're going to call for the king of diamonds. So whoever has the king of diamonds must play it to the trick, and that person will become their partner for the round. Play passes left. Players must follow suit if they can. If they cannot, they can play any card. All of the players were able to follow suit. Our player at the top of the screen had the king of diamonds, so they played it. And now these two players are partners. The top and the bottom of the screen are partners for the round. This makes the two opposite players partners as well. As a team, these two players are trying to meet the bid that the bid winner made. Whoever plays the highest card in the suit that was led or the highest trump card wins the trick. Our king of diamonds wins the trick and they will lead the next one. They may lead the trick with any card from their hand and they led with an ace of clubs. Again, following players must follow suit if they can. If not, they may play any card. Again, the highest ranking card in the suit that was led or the highest ranking trump card takes the trick. So our ace of clubs takes it and the trick winner leads the next one. And play like that continues until the final trick has been played. After that, it's time to tally up the score. Although there are teams in this game, scores are kept individually. Each player is going to have their own score. Now, for the bid winner and their partner, the only way they earn points is if they capture a number of tricks equal to or more than the bid. In this example, the bid was six and they captured eight tricks. If you're able to meet or exceed the number of tricks you bid, you earn points equal to your bid. So even though they caught eight tricks, they still only get six points. If they fail to meet or exceed their bid, their score goes back that many points. So if they would have failed to capture six or more, they would have lost six points from their score. The opposite team does not share points. For the opposite team, you only get one point per trick that you captured. So our player on the left earns two points for the round. Our player on the right earns zero. So at the end of this round, the score would be six to two to six to nothing. If a player bids Americaner, they do not have a partner. 
and they earn 52 points for capturing all 12 tricks. If they fail to capture all 12 tricks, then they would go back 52 points. After the score has been tallied, collect the cards. The deal passes left. Continue playing rounds until one player reaches a score of 52 or more. That player is the winner. Well, that was how to play Americana. So you can see there are just enough layers to this game to keep things interesting. There's always that hope for an Americana hand, plus the variable partnerships. The partnerships that change each round based on the card that's called just keeps players on their toes. I hope you enjoy the game. Let me know down below if you do. The best way you can support this channel if you really want to help me out is just by subscribing, hitting that thumbs up, or leaving a comment. Those three simple things really help out my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.